Well, I, I had a question. Sure. Um, where does this fit in with the what was essentially designed to be the existing rating system, which was points, which is sort of the 800-pound gorilla sitting over there? Yeah. Um, there, there's also a couple of things about points. Um, from my from my limited knowledge of that, that's really more the rating of an individual. Um, it's not necessarily the rating of a comment, a topic, a paper, a video, a blog, whatever. It really is the rating of an individual for how much they engage. Um, and eventually, it, it can't it gets influenced by that. That was one of the design flaws in the way it was implemented. But currently, points are done for individual items. And as such, they don't really reflect necessarily against the person. In the long run, they do, because then someone has a big brag card that says, I've got one billion points kind of thing. But each item had its own. For instance, forums, you had three choices for any given answer you got, which in itself was a graduated rating. What there was for a time with weblogs, uh, graduated ratings because it used to be that range. And I don't know whether you guys still do that when you publish or whether you just, it's a flat point assignment. For, it is not a flat point assignment. So it is still, yeah. So there was some like quality inferred with the number of points assigned to a weblog when it was given. But you know, it just seems like you then have two parallel systems that you have a, a rating system that is the star based thing and then you would have you know, the point system. I can understand that when they implemented it for the articles, because the articles were a flat, what, 120 points? So everyone got the same amount of points, no matter what the quality of the article was. Uh, yes. So there was a good reason to have some kind of voting mechanism there. But I think uh, with the other areas, I don't know, it seems that like there is already an implied rating system. Now we've never given an ability to be able to search using that. So for instance, if you know that um, Jim has 20 billion points, so you want to find everything that's you know done with him in a particular topic area, we, may, we don't have a very easy way for anyone to do that because we don't really connect the two at this point. And Stephen Johannes just uh, brought up the point that, um, and here's uh, Tobias is, is also weighing in, that when somebody is, um, is getting points for blogs, those are rated by experts. The points are get, being given by the experts. Yeah. I think also, too, you think about wanting to encourage people to blog, and you come on, you blog for the first time, you're really excited, and there's like three not helpful votes sitting there, and, and you just think it can be demoralizing to newbies if it's not presented in a thoughtful way. The other thing, too, that someone just brought up in the chat is, you know, Google is able to, to make content visible based on reference links. So in other words, they avoid the whole rating scenario by basically looking at it in terms of algorithms where respected sites linked to your content end up giving you priority for that content. To, to an extent. To an extent. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I think that's interesting as well as far as like, if someone writes a blog on SCN and 20 people link to it, to me that tells me more about the quality of that blog than a lot of other things could. Yeah. You know? and, I, and I think that the, that's just, you know, a simple question of rating and, uh, and you know, how do, how do those things actually integrate together, you know? You can always generate some sort of semantic, you know, text analysis on it too. Is it a good thing, a bad thing, right? I mean, we make our own tools that do a lot of that stuff for right. business objects, and uh, you know, you could always get into the linking. And I, and I think those are things that we we need to walk down the the path of exploring them um, rather carefully, to be quite honest, because uh, you know, Google Google is tends to be the the line in the sand. You're either better than Google <laughs> at Google's ladder level, or you're not Google, and therefore your search is the worst thing known to man. Um, quite honestly, knowing you know knowing Google and, and doing a lot of the research and stuff, Google Google works because it's paid for in some shape or form. Either people are paying to have other people link to their content, people are paying Google to create AdWords, manage AdWords, etc. Uh, Google's paying for ad space. You know, we are paying for ad space. Uh, or quite honestly, people are managing highly managed content by very good professional web writers. And quite, you know, quite frankly, you, you don't see a lot of things in your top 10 results unless you enter a very specific search query or specify a specific site simply on the quality of the results to your work, uh, specifically for social content. 